many years ago in this area i've shared the story i i think he was a lecturer i can't remember now somebody somewhere and i went to go and pray he was on a wheelchair i think something happened whether a degenerative disc or one of these medical conditions and now they heard that god was using a gentleman called joshua selman and with every sense of honor and passion they said please come and i went there and they gave me their rapt attention they gathered the whole family and the children i preached a powerful message on the power of god but the problem was that it was now time to demonstrate it and and the man on the wheelchair you know a man maybe in his 50s or 60s then you could not say he did not have faith he was paying attention nodding and saying amen and then i laid my hands on him in the name of jesus this same jesus that i've preached sir rise up in the name of jesus absolutely nothing happened absolutely i prayed i prayed i believed that i had faith if it fails it is never god i took responsibility and went back there is something i do not know let god be true and all men liars i'm showing you the attitude of a winner by the time you just after all i'm not god you would never be able to walk in certain levels of the anointing you must shrug off the shame and go back open my eyes there has to be something the mortuary in shika there i have entered that mortuary to pray for a dead body the anatomy lab in abi uzaria have been left in that lab to pray for a dead body and while i prayed none of them came back to life but i was happy i did because you never live the same there is something about your fear leave letting it out what is making you afraid there is a way you will stand and stare at it you will find out it didn't have the power it claimed to have Please listen carefully we're wrapping up I remember praying fasting and crying and say Lord I listened to John A. A. Allen and A. A. Allen said he went to the Lord and prayed and cried and said what is the secret of the miracle working power of God because he read his Bible and when he read it he tried to practicalize what he read and absolutely nothing happened and you see in the world that we live today People are already enlightened. It's not like before. You can go somewhere and tell people Jesus can move and he doesn't touch them. The next thing you see, a caught someone. And somebody will say you, you abuse them emotionally by lying to them. <laughs> Church, there's no time to play games again. We have to stay with God and hold on to the four horns of the altar until we carry substance, the substance of genuine, provable spiritual power hallelujah i remember it was in this same zaria then phones just started mobile phones as we know and then they, they started um it was a night call or something like that when they called me and they told me that someone they were waiting for a doctor to come i don't know if it was shika now or barodico one of the medical um places and the person had had a, they mentioned the vertebra the ones that were crushed or something so they were waiting for someone either someone to come from india or something of that sort and they said there is this gentleman again i made up my mind list i failed and failed till my ego died in the year that king uzziah died there is something that must die for you to see for as long as your purpose of ministering the anointing is to prove a point you carry your ego and it blocks the power of god something must die i got to a point where i said if nobody gets healed i will keep praying for people my ego was stung and stung till there was nothing if you're on the ground there's nowhere to fall again usually that is the point you see his power because now the excellency of power will be of god i remember now looking from today i do not know i can't tell if i really i don't know what kind of faith and courage would have entered me true story i picked the phone and this i think it was a woman i remember she was wearing a a neck collar and it was a complicated situation 
and I remember holding the phone it was in the night I said madam in the name of Jesus I want to pray for you and I boldly told her after all I had said it many times and it failed I said I will keep saying it while I learn I didn't know that that day would be different five minutes to your lifting it will still not look like it you just continue I held that phone and I told her I said I'm going to pray for you I prayed a simple prayer no sermon no long stories a simple prayer and I told her remove your neck and this woman removed her neck collar and the only thing I remember hearing was that she ran and shouted Jesus and that was it by the next day you know how they come to people's homes like burial burial has happened that was how people if I did not see the x-ray the son had to come the father the husband now of the woman when he heard his wife was healed these are not unverified stories he did not believe it's impossible until he came and saw his wife they brought me the x-ray before after I said that's right truly spiritual power works let me tell you this I remember that time when that news broke out in Shika here the number of nurses and doctors that began to call please I have a pain here I've not shared it with anybody so I now found out people have problems but they will hide it for as long as they suspect you will waste their time the day they find what looks like genuine answer they will open up their scars sincerely the reason why it looks like men are not placing a demand upon your grace is nobody wants to open the deepest secrets of their pain when they know you will not solve it that's why a patient can go to a doctor and somebody old enough to be that doctor's father you will still pull for surgery you will still and you will not be ashamed because you know the doctor will take care of you if they say turn around let them inject you you will not say i'm embarrassed i'm a woman you're a man that is none of the doctor's business you want to be healed of malaria you do what he's asking you to do the reason why people cover up and don't speak is because it looks like in the church it, it, they, are, they are tired of just saying amen without power but the good news is that he's restoring again. God himself is restoring ancient mantles and is restoring genuine spiritual power. How will we go to the nations of the earth and preach Jesus to a bedeviled world that has several options? No. The Bible says Philip preached Christ in Samaria, Acts chapter 8 from verse 5. He says the people gave heed in one accord, with one accord hearing and seeing verse 6 the miracles which he did hearing and seeing in the kingdom we hear and we see we do not just hear we see I made up my mind that for as long as I'm alive and koinonia hear me for as long as you are part of this apostolic and prophetic ministry it will take more than revelation you must contend for this third dimension the power of the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit is not for joshua selman this promise is unto you and to your children your children's children even as many as are far off those that the lord will call when it has to do with the power of the holy ghost great grace was upon them all it's time to start going to your families it's time to go to your maybe your your rooms your offices and now begin to manifest as light and salt indeed this talk we keep talking and shouting amen for nothing must come to an end can i tell you the truth everybody you see that god used mightily in zaria for those of you who just came to Zaria not long ago, the heritage that we celebrate in Zaria came about by the stories that you are hearing. Different stories from different men of God at points of encounters and the corresponding power that came upon their lives. My prayer is that Zaria will not stop remaining a training ground. This is a place where people came as ordinary people I remember those days you will see tiny ladies in the cold they will wear their stockings and carry their rechargeable in the night on their way to long tennis courts then most people will not know it now but you will see them with their tiny voices for hours praying in the spirit later on you find out that that tiny girl has now become a campus fellowship president fire like you will see somebody looking so small but you sit under that kind of anointing the service will finish you will not even know 
there is a generation that is losing out on the patterns celebrating all kinds of things it's not by going online it's not by doing all of these things you must stay the ministry of prayer many years ago in zaria night time was a time of small recreation that graduates into prayer people gathered together and the gist was still spiritual talk it was not just like it was nonsense you start talking sharing things questions and from there before you know it people get into the zone of prayer that is how the mighty were made precious people do not lose that pattern you lose that pattern you will see the darkness and onslaught you see all this armed robbery and kidnapping that is happening in Zaria do not sit helpless as if you can do nothing you do not know that the people who do these things negotiate with the spirit to embolden them to come out and manifest nobody unassisted has that kind of courage to watch another human being and kill the person no until the saints rise and begin to define the realities that happen within your spiritual borders in the name of Jesus for darkness that thus far have you come no further shall you come shall you go I remember times when we had to stay and pray certain things out of this region you would hear crisis happening around Kaduna state and the rest and while we're interceding for that one to stop we will stand and declare that it shall not be he says I will stand upon my watch and I will set myself upon the tower now the challenge is that many people are only praying one over three will not get the job done you see where the mistake is because it is the excellency of the word in you that helps you to pray effectively now many people ignore the word they ignore the power of the Holy Spirit and all people do is to pray and it is largely praying amiss a dissipation of intense spiritual energy but very little result. there must be this tripartite balance is someone understanding this he is brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from darkness the holy ghost is brooding over every darkness hear me before students get admission whether to abu or the polytechnic anywhere we used to pray in advance before they arrive we begin to pray and intercede father they are coming from several families they are welcome regardless whether it's from a family of idolatry you send them here some of them as soon as they land from day one they step into a church having a program just to stroll not knowing that prayer had been put to direct them and some of those people later became fellowship presidents some of them today are men and women of God serving the purposes of God but it is not just limited to producing pastors there were people who it was the church that showed them their direction today they are entrepreneurs advancing the kingdom in many regards they came from a family of low self-esteem came from villages of all sorts but when they sat down under a teaching priest line upon line a sound exegesis of scripture they now began to understand who they were in christ and the possibilities that would come by reason of this way life and things began to change never lose that pattern if you're a campus fellowship president here hear me whilst you study and do what you do remember that you have an assignment do not leave this region without replacing yourself no otherwise the devil will be patient and allow a group of vibrant serious people to leave and then you will find out that all that is left is nothing to write home about spiritually this is what you see happening in many circles vibrant people but there is no succession no raising men and women of fire it is the reason why you see us continue to invest in training because for as long as Jesus lives this place will remain a training ground where God is raising people you see these are little children some of them were dedicated right here and now you see them as small as they are while we are praying they are joining to pray too watch what happens to them by the time they become teenagers they will be light years they would outdo the things the little that we have done and that's how it's supposed to be let me charge you before we pray finally parents 
you have a role to play in preserving this revival young people you have a role to play in preserving this revival ministers of the gospel we have a role to play businessmen we have a role to play this is a time where everybody must put his hands on deck from zaria and around zaria to the ends of the earth jesus must be revealed and jesus must be glorified we will never allow darkness to prevail we will never allow decadence kidnapping assassination right now people cannot go home freely in the night again what kind of thing is that because some teenager somewhere under the influence of a wicked demonic spirit 